Hey guys, Ellen Woodbridge here, Independent Stampin' Up! Demonstrator in Australia. And today I am here to play with the Seriously the Best card kit. Now, this was something I wasn't going to buy out of the... No, I will show you exactly which catalog it is in out of the mini catalog but on a team day back in January I won the lucky door prize which was a seriously the best kit and then I did a class and I think I did my catalog launch and I earned a half price item so I got the kit for half price so I thought why not why not? I really love it. I particularly love the fonts. You hear me go on about fonts all the time. Love a good font. I like a good scripty font. Um, yeah, so I had to get this because you can do birthday, thanks, congratulations. You've got a couple of elements and Bob's your uncle. The card is done. So this is a look at at the cards that you make in the kit. I love the kit just for the box and the fact we can make some cute cards is even better. So I'll show you these cards. I've already got out all the supplies out of the box to make them so uh, we can do that together. Now, thank you for watching. Um, if you haven't already liked or subscribed, please do uh, because it helps other people um, it helps other people find me um, and it means you don't miss out on a video and who doesn't I don't want to miss out on videos. Um, so like subscribe on YouTube or Facebook or both. I'd love it for you to see me on both because I do uh, put some things up on Facebook uh, that I can't on YouTube because it's a video service, not posting. So, yeah. So, what I am going to show you is, now that I've done my little spiel, I just like to, because I know not everyone is seeing me for the first time, I am just getting up my replay video and making sure that is working today we'll see if technology is on my side and it appears to be so yay hey jamie hey deb hey philomena thank you and everyone else who's coming in knowing see 11 of you say hi hey joanne so this is the set in the catalog so it isn't an all-inclusive kit the kit is separate from the stamp set so if you buy both together, you are really, really, really close to earning celebration items. So I think, uh, what are they? Together they are, you are like five bucks off earning a celebration item. So you buy a refill for your... Um, for your snail or you buy a bit of glue and you get a free celebration item who doesn't love that so just wanted to make you aware of where it is in the catalog and the other thing i want to show you in the catalog is it does show um, is it in here it does show some extra ideas right there some extra ideas on how you can use the stamp set and use it beyond the kit um, to maximize the kit stamp sets. You guys have seen me use, well, I have used it a bit. Don't know whether I've shared all the cards, but I certainly have uh, used this stamp set a bit. It was one that was on my uh, list to purchase. So what I might do is flick you guys around and we'll get into making these kit cards. I'm going to make them exactly or as exactly as I get to, um, sorry I forgot to move my little speaker for when I'm crafting and watching telly. Um, I'll make them pretty much exact to how it's described in my little project kit leaflet so and it's nice it's got nice big pictures so we can follow it 
So it is se seems as though I have no picture today, but I have comments. So I can talk to you and keep you guys in check. So don't forget to say hi and while I flick you guys around. We have another lovely day here, but it's meant to rain all weekend, which is lucky for me, hey Kathy, because I have a class on the weekend. So, yeah. Uh, let me flick this back. Now, I wonder how clear I am today because you are coming to the internet from my new phone. Yeah. Sorry. My stand's doing weird things. Weird things. I'm trying to get it straight and do you think it will? Hey, right. I think that's pretty good. I think that's as good as we're getting. Despite the fact I'd prefer not to have. There we go. That's a little better. I like that. Clear on your end. Awesome. Hey, Beth. I'm glad it's nice and clear because that's got to do with my internet as well. Hey, Linda, I know it's beautiful colours. I will, um, I'll go through that in a sec. I'll just turn off the light. So, as I said, this is the box that everything comes with. It's um, a really, really sturdy box. has a lid. You've got a little elastic closure and all the kit contents come in there so that's all the kit contents in there so pop this here so the coordinating colors are balmy blue mango melody mint macaron pretty peacock and terracotta tiles so it tells you that there are 16 printed card bases and envelopes all your die cuts baker's twine which is this lovely Mango Melody Baker's Twine. You get your uh, sequins, which are pre-adhesived, ready to go. And you get your designer box that you can use next time, which is great. Oh, hey, Di. Thank you for joining. Um, so, yeah. Um, and gives you a few tips because the adhesive will be visible through the vellum accents. Yes, there is vellum in this kit. Makes me so happy. Um, place it where it will be covered by another layer. That is always my tip. On the congrats card, tie the twine around the vellum banner and then tie the bow before adhering the banner to the card base. So they're the only tips, which means these are really simple and you've got instructions in French, Dutch and Japanese. So these are the close-ups for our cards with um, telling us now do these coordinate with some instructions here on the front. I think we can work it out. Yes. So there our steps um, in numbers and that corresponds to the pictures but i think we can make it through without that so i'm going to pop this box up here at the top um i haven't mounted any of the stamp sets yet so i'm thinking we will start with this card up here so i have got out this many pieces so the card base does have foil in it and just for those of you who are not in Australia uh, these are American standard size cards so for five and a half by four and a quarter that's what I think it is standard someone um, someone correct me hey Felicity long time no see hey Cindy again and Renee um, so this is a pretty vellum branch piece which is going to go like that. So I've got this die cut piece. Now I'm going to leave this like this and I'm actually going to bring in my Stamparatus because why play hard when you can play smart? 
So I'm going to pop this in the Stamparatus. I'm going to put my thingy there. Hello, Miss Vanessa Webb. How are you? So we're going to use the thanks. And what I'm going to do is line this up here. And I have a feeling I haven't grabbed out another die cut piece. So it doesn't have to be perfect. It just needs to be within the area. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to pop this under here so I have a nice flat area to ink on. Now, in here, I'm going to use my terracotta tile because that, oh, that um, coordinates in. Ah, uh, yes. So are you on your lunch break, Di? Or are you not working today? Okay, so I'm using my Stamparatus, so if I don't get a nice, bold, filled-in image, which I pretty much did, um, I've got a second bite of the cherry, which I really love, especially with this uh, font. It is a very thick font, so I want it to look as crisp and filled in as I can and just the two stampings that is perfect so I'm going to pop this out and I'm going to pop that there I'm just going to close this for a second put that up there bring over my pile of bits <gasps> I just put an inky fingerprint on the card I was surprised Okay, um, I did not get out the other die cut sheet. Okay, let's just grab the box here. Can someone remind me to be careful with my inky fingerprints? Okay, so there are all the card bases. Oh, another thing I want to show you were the envelopes. All the envelopes are the same and are a beautiful polka dot on the inside. So a nice gold polka dot. Okay, I've got the right die cut sheet, just I can't separate it. Ha <laughs> ha. This is the other die cut sheet that we need. Because there are two sentiments that go, Hello Miss Emily, thank you for joining. Oh. Hey Beth, thank you for joining. Jamie, you send your child to a Christian school and you don't go to church, you heathen. I'm only kidding. Mind you, my parents still go to church no matter where they are. Okay, so this says, thanks, you are seriously the best. So you are seriously the best. Can come out of here. And it's going to go on one of these long banners. So there's not too much stamping to do. what I'm going to do I'm going to flip this plate around hey David how do you feel about um, cleaning my um, my stamp chamois or either in a couple of minutes he'll finish what he's doing and he'll clean that for me Okay, so what a good husband I have. I'll pop this up in the corner and we will try to get this straight. Would help if I can pick up the magnet. Just try and get it as straight as possible. It's actually really hard when it's sticking to my finger. 
thing. It's been very, very, very cheeky. I think that's as good as that's going to get. Pick that up with the Stamparatus and we're going to use our pretty peacock. Hey Anne, thanks for joining. Oh, this set is in the mini catalogue and the kits in the mini catalogue are at the back. So this is called Seriously the Best because you girls that come in and play with me live and that come in and watch the replays and comment and support me, you girls are seriously the best. So I'm not, oh my God, how did I get that so perfect? I don't know, but it is so perfect. First time, look at that. I have a 12, yeah, I know. I could have got out a ruler, but I just chose not to. Right, so I've got that piece. I'm just going to pop this to the side. Here comes the lovely David. Thank you. Right, good husband that I have. He's lucky he works from home at the moment with the current state of affairs in the world um that's a one i just want to check what a one is let's let's consult our destructions stamp in pretty peacock i think that might be on mini dimensionals you know so i'm going to pop a couple of mini dimensionals on here and just pop it at the bottom of the thanks i think i could have stamped that thanks a little higher up i know it's such a pretty envelope liner i know cindy i know i know i do exactly the same thing and then you see someone use something and you go what how did i miss that have you at least noticed the stamp set in there? Because if you've noticed the stamp set that goes with this kit, I think you're winning. It's very hard to see and take in everything. Okay, just put three so it's nice and even and we don't have a saggy middle despite the fact I do have a saggy middle, very saggy. Thank you, Mr. Woodbridge, you're the best. You're seriously the best, which is a stamp I just stamped. See? You can even use these sentiments in complimenting and thanking your husband. Oh. These little ones are cheeky. Okay, seriously the best. Mm. Do you know what's helpful if you actually make sure it's even on both edges and to make that even easier and better I am just going to use my handy dandy scissors which are an extension of my fingers I'm sorry if my head is in the way hopefully it's not Okay, thanks. You're seriously the best. Done. Normal dimensionals. Look at this. One lone one left on this sheet and that can go right in the middle. Okay. So, let's check our destructions again. Oh, we want to use some twine behind this. So this one's fairly simple, some twine and just pop that up the top here. Okay, so the twine is lovely. Oh, that's okay, Jay. That's okay. Black spots are terrible on that train line. 
Okay, so I just wrap it around my hand, even though I've got a small hand, it does generally work and I can always uh, make it wider. I'm sure it tells me exactly, it tells me I need 27 inches of twine, but do you know what? I just eyeball it. That's pretty good. Okay, sizing is right and I think think I think I actually want do I have any in here do I have a roll no I yes I do I actually want to use our tear and tape because that way it'll encapsulate it really perfectly so I'll just get two pieces of tear and tape just put this on the edge of my dish here see my dish is multi-purpose oh hey Anne sorry if I missed you I can't remember right that is that done these this can lay here quite nicely thank you very much because see in the picture it is quite densely done okay one side done and I can always take the uh, backing off this as well that is optional extra I can bundle it together pop it down and that is all adhered now I just want to now I didn't grab those out I swore I had a brand new sheet of dimensionals I'm just just gonna sort of pile them in the middle Probably still going to do a number. I know I'm probably going overboard, but because I'm not putting any on the outside, I'd like it to look nice and um, even on the inside. Okay. Now, I have to adhere this to the vellum first. And then I can put adhesive on the back of the vellum where this label's going. So let's do that. I'm just going to snip off some of that so it doesn't go over. Have my dish for my backings. See, this is nice and easy. Didn't have to think. It's all planned out. I've got, I wouldn't have necessarily put this vellum and the card base together in real life. So I'm going a bit out of my comfort zone. And I know Baker's Twine isn't my go to. So it's kind of nice to do something a bit out of my zone that totally doesn't look straight either thank god it's dimensionals on vellum and we can quite easily disengage this middle one wants to come off right and I need this one I just need one on there they don't want to play ball there we go that's better all straight and now I need my bit sorry I am losing comment I didn't scroll down so then I just put my 
a generous amount of snail adhesive because this is all that is holding this piece of vellum on. So I have been a little more generous than what I normally am. Pop that in the middle and then we've just got a couple of, well can we say roughly the middle, and then we've got a couple of sequins to pop on. Now I am going to cut this open because no one needs to see me try and open a tiny packet because that would be, oh god, that would not be fun. So we have the flower sequins and we have normal, come out, normal everyday run of the mill round sequins. Now this is telling me, let me, this just has round sequins. So I've got a large and a small down here. And a large and a small up the top. So it helps if I use them right way up. Now you could go through and make all one of the same card. Or you could just do what I'm doing and make one each of all the cards or you can sit down take it take it to a crop day or something and make all of them at the same time so there you go that is card number one done so I'm gonna pop that over there and would you believe because I am live on my nose has started dripping even though I'm not sick can I just get someone to throw up a comment just to make sure my computer's showing me the right things and I'm actually using um, this set in um, in class just the stamp set in class on the weekend which is great I know a lot of you are crafting while you watch me which I love okay so for this card I am going to need so I've got my two birdies I'm going to need this pretty peacock vellum piece and I'm going to need um, is it the big one it's got two three yes and I'm going to need this larger piece so just those two and these ones we use on another card I do believe yes we use on this one so you've got like four sheets of this ready to go in the box. Okay. So this piece goes. So we've got also got some um, pre-die cut and stitched edged pieces ready to go. Now one of these branches goes on the back. So I'm actually going to grab out so we don't stick everything together. My silicon sheet, which is great for what I'm about to show you. So on here, so I can pick this up and not stick it to anything else because the adhesive doesn't like to stick to the silicon, which is fantastic now we want to put some dimensionals on the back of the birds I'm just getting this done and then I will stamp the miss you a lot and clean um, the ones I already have done I'm hurting my brain because I've been taking these out haphazardly. Normally I'm a keep it in a line kind of gal. Okay. We're not using any twine on this card. 
So what I kind of want to do, I'm just going to do everything on this mat. Now we do want to think overlap like that and that's okay because they may actually want to sit on this branch so if it sticks out the other side I'm not actually worried. That's not helpful. You do have to get this set now. I seriously love, and it's so sad, the name of this set, but I really do love the sentiments. They are incredibly useful. They're big and bold without being too big and bold, if that makes any sense. And then these ones are like kissing, it's so cute. Oh, I love that we will cover up some of the branch, but I do love that you can see the branch. So I've done that bit. All I have to do, oh, we do have a little bit of twine. I lied. Okay. I am going to leave this on here because I do have some adhesive on it. I'm going to bring our Stamparatus over quickly. And I'm doing this with the chamois because just for ease of quickness, I will go back and uh, properly condition these with the Stamper Mist. Okay. Got that one off. Just let me get this one off pop them away and I'm grabbing out the I miss you a lot yeah they are really they're not they're not girly girly cards but they are pretty cards and uh, I really like the color combo sorry girls turning off I've just had my little blow heater on because I was feeling a little cold but that isn't unusual in my life I always feel cold take out the I miss you a lot find the right banner for that which I think is this one one zhuzh, and that's pretty that's pretty perfect if not it's handmade we are using our pretty peacock again just giving that a nice light push and the I miss because we're up near the hinge that looks pretty good and I think I'm using dimension I think I'm using dimensionals one end snail the other on this now if I was smart I would clean that off and then take it off and then we're ready for the next stamp okay right and stamp artists can also go on top of that and I will bring our little cluster back in so think how this sort of goes is I'll need a dimensional on that end and then just snail on the rest 
So let me bring in my mini dimensionals, which I like. I like that you can just chuck a mini dimensional on one end and then use snail for it to sit flat on the rest. It adds a lot of interest to a card. Okay, that there. And this is good because this is a bit thinner than the snail's just the same width and by using the mat I don't get adhesive anywhere else it is a great price for the set oh hey Karen well I'm sort of about halfway through making four cards so you're not late you're about right on time I'd say Okay, I miss you a lot. There we go. Now, we do have some twine. Sorry, my light was just... Hmm. Does it talk to me? I need 16 inches and I need to tie it in a big bow. Okay. I like destructions. That helps me a lot. Okay. Now, I'm not doing... 16 inches I am just tying it in a bow and then I can size it to what we need I'd say one end is way too big and one end is almost right um, sorry, I've covered my destructions. I'm saying, thinking these loops need to be a touch longer. And I'm thinking I might need a mini glue dot. Oh, they're quite good actually. Oh. Grab my ribbon scissors here. Give this one a snip here. Give this one a snip here. Although, if it's going to sit on dimensionals, I'll just dimensional that dot down rather than grabbing out a whole new type of glue. Okay, that and that, that like that, dimensionals, my scissors, and my dish. Although, if I was smart, I'd dimensional either side of the knot, because that would be... A smart thing to do. We try to be smart, it doesn't always work, but okay, that works, and then I'll just chuck another couple along here because that's how we work and play. Be Quite, not quite so random, but random enough. I do just want to chuck another one there. And then I think we're good. Okay. Just swap out our silicone mat for our card base. I love the pattern on this card base I want lots of different colored pattern papers in this pattern I don't even know what you'd call it but I'd say it'd be something like you can get in um, parquet flooring very similar to parquet flooring hey Laura thanks for watching me two videos in a row And you come in at the boring part just when I'm taking backing off my adhesive. Okay. And 
fly. Just get my backing. You know everyone can hear you yawn, David. Just going to... I'm not going to centre it because of all my bushy bits off to the side. Sorry, I'm just trying to... If I put this through here, it might actually stay there. I think that is roughly how it is staying. Okay, I just want to snip this one up here a bit. And that is our second card done. Oh, I love it. Those birds are so cute. Okay, flick the page. We've got the congrats, you did it. Now, this is one I have made before, actually. I made this at a recent team day. So, while I've got this in here, I may do the you did it. But, I'm going to be really smart and turn this around. And, I need... The stamp set. Indeed, that you did it because congrats cards and a congrats you did it can be multi purpose used for anything a friend getting a new job or a promotion or just someone doing something that they think is really hard in life. It's nice to get a congratulations. I have no issues showing you the back of my head because I got all my greys covered yesterday. So this is in, yes, this is in the Pretty Peacock. Just a few very light dabs there. May have pressed a little too hard, but do you know what? It's done. Okay, congrats. I did it. I... Which piece am I using? I am using this piece as well. But I shall flick this around. Just uh, the reason I am flicking it around a bit is sometimes stamping close to the spine can be a little more difficult and I just want to make life as easy as possible for myself. So, ooh, I think those chamois need to go through the wash. I think I may have accidentally... Yep, well, not quite that bad, Cindy, but yeah, not quite that bad, but he, um, he's still quite unwell, so he's, um, he's not sleeping the best, which is not fun for him. I'm fine, I'm sleeping fine. David, on the other hand, not so much. Okay, congrats. So we will put it on as straight as humanly possible by my very quick go there. And then you can see on the card, we put it on an angle on the card. Okay, so this one I'm going to need two stamping, I would say, to get a nice crisp image like we did on the other one. Though our first one isn't too bad. It's just a little bit patchy, which is why I just like to go in with the second one 
just to make it perfect perfect right done and if I really wanted to the bits that hold the die cuts in I could snip those little bits off if I so wished but you can actually barely see them okay that cleaned oh, apparently I need to stand but that ain't happening okay and I think this afternoon's job is preparing for class on Sunday because I got everything ready so quickly I um, I might do that or I might make another secret project never never know okay congrats you did it here is oh, we have our card base which is um, balmy blue and our printed piece and that printed piece just goes straight on so I will do that now and then that's one less piece on my page right I think everything else is dimensionalized very weird holding this because it's such an odd size compared to our card bases what? oh dear oh dear okay that will do it's not perfect but it's handmade right now this is our pretty gold um, vellum piece. Now, it did say to wrap the twine around. And I will take Jamie's advice because I can hear her before I even need it. I've got my reverse tweezers. So we want to wrap it around twice and tie a bow. <laughs> You know, because I'm amazing and I can do five things at once. I know Philomena, the Stamparatus, is an absolute godsend. So once and twice. Okay. This is where Ellen kind of sort of freaks out just a touch. Okay, just make sure I've got enough twine to work with. Now, where are all my bits? Da, 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 da. So, I want to tie a knot and then hold that knot with the tweezers. The hard thing is, this is a piece of vellum, so the other thing I might do, I may just grab a block to hold on to, like to hold this piece down. Oh my dear word. Just trying to undo this knot so then I can rewrap it. See, Twine and I aren't always friends. Okay. Now, this is where I'm going to grab a block and pop it down. So then I can, I have an end here, I have a piece here awesome so now that this is being held down by that I may actually no be smart be smart okay I 
can't even pick up the twine, people. Okay. And then I tie the bow, which is nice and easy because everything's being held down. And then I can remove the tweezers. Woohoo! And now, very carefully, because you don't want this super tight because you don't want your bow to um with the baker's twine they tend to curl this one did curl just a touch but that will be fine done i'm much happier with that than my original one okay we have done that piece. Woohoo! That was the piece I was dreading. Okay, now I can put snail on both sides of this because it's being covered up by the banner. So I can... Go down both sides with snail and no one's going to see the adhesive. Pop this along here. That is sitting beautifully. And then I am going to put dimensionals on the edges of this because I've got twine in the middle. Sorry, just getting myself all organised here. And do you know what I forgot to add to that one? I forgot to add sequins to the bird one. But we might do that at the end. Go through and sequin them all up. I just realised I forgot to put sequins. I don't know what I'd do without the Stamparatus Philomena. Like, seriously, it has got me out of so many stamping jams, especially when I'm having a bad hand day and I'm very tremory. I can get great stamping done and still craft. Um, and yeah, it just works really well. So I've left a channel in the middle here for the twine to go through. I don't mind that that edge is pulling up a bit because it's vellum, it curls a bit. It's all good. Then after this, we just have one card left. This is a bit of a longer video, uh, but yeah. I think it's worth it just to see all four cards because they are great cards and if I was making like all of one card at one time I would just have a real rhythm with the Stamparatus it would work really really well mm. Okay, that's staying as it is. It's not straight, but it's on there. And then I think the You Did It is also dimensionalised. And this one just has a few little sequins, which, because I've got them right here and I'm thinking about it, I will do. These little mini dimensionals they last forever it's so good i can't remember the last time i opened a pack and they're just perfect for these little sentiments okay and i am going to use my scissors just to position this perfectly in Place. Right. Just pop that 
on the end here and just use this as an extension of my hand. My fingers don't get in the way. Done. Now we just got mm, that looks like a little oh, a little flower one up here and a big and a little one of these that is second card done do you know what I might do I will flick back and just pop these ones in here while I'm thinking about it otherwise you know I will forget And they've used the rule of three and triangles up here. Upside down. It's not helpful. And a little one here. Right. That look, it looked good without the gold. It looks spectacular with the gold. This is my favourite. The first two are my favourite two so far. Okay. Now, the final card is this Hello Friend. Also, oh, this Congrats one might be my least favourite, but do you know what? It is stunning. Still. Okay. So, let's get out. Oh, hello, friend. We're using the I Miss You A Lot twice. So, I might get the I Miss You A Lot. Because we've already got this one here. I'll get this out and do it. Yeah, exactly. I Miss You A Lot. That looks pretty straight to me. And we are doing this one in terracotta tile. And then I can close the terracotta tile ink pad. That is pretty good. Clean. Done. Take that off. Put it back in here. Close this ink pad. Of course, it doesn't want to close, but that's the story of my life, isn't it? Okay, and I think the card that I shared last night uh, uses this set. So if you want to check out some alternative ways to, um, to get some cards done, I did use this set last night. Oh, well, I shared a card that I used using the stamp set last night. So hello, friend. Oh, I think David's hanging outside while we've got a nice day before a rainy weekend. Oh, stamp side down, Ellen, stamp side down. Hello, friend. Do I need it anywhere particular? I think I need it a bit more towards the top. 
so then I can put the I miss you a lot at the bottom okay pretty peacock for this one once again we'll be looking to stamp this twice although I do try and get a nice even coverage the first time that's pretty good but I will try and get it a second time just making sure Miss Louisa outside isn't going in the garden but she's not she's smelling the flowers did make sure everything we put in the backyard was dog friendly just for her okay done And clean. And if I did get any ink, which I kind of sort of did, I can clean that off with the stamp chamois at the same time. Okay. Leave these die cuts in here so I don't lose them pop the stamp away and we are in assembly heaven so have you guys taken advantage of signing up during celebration it is a great time to sign up and I don't think look at this card base it's already pre-foiled so sweet so sweet and I think it um, I think it is dimensionalized just on the edge and then that means I'll have to use double dimensionals underneath okay I'll show you what I mean by double dimensionals uh, where is my definitely need this for this bit okay so I'm going to pop this here and a little one there about there Hey Julie, just on the last card of the Seriously the Best set. So I was just saying to the girls before I got into what I was doing here um, about the amazing celebration signing up offer which ends at the end of the month. It's a great time to sign up. You get a free stamp set. Um, you also get... Um, you also get a uh, free stamp set, the mini trimmer, a pack of, um, a pack of the, whatchamacallit, it's a sampler, a sampler DSP pack, which is fantastic. And you get the opportunity to get some of the ornate, the ornate frames, or the ornate garden set, which is beautiful. Okay. Sorry, I'm just having a look here, making sure I've put this down the right way, which I have always helpful when you put it down the right way so using three minis and then just some snail on the end to adhere it to the tail of the bird and 
snail right there. dimensional backs off and I will use my scissors again to um, help get that straight and even or as straight as and, and even as what I can then we are using twine again we're being using that heavy-handed loop again and we are adding all those beautiful vellum leaves so i'm assuming i'm doing the vellum leaves first and then i'll use my heavy handed um my heavy handed twine which we worked out how to do really well with the first card okay so we've done that and now I'm going to punch out all of these vellum pieces. So we've got two long stemmed pieces and three little pieces. Should read the destructions about where exactly these go see if my destructions give me any clues um, so three three and mm, three okay three and he using snail adhesive that that's all it tells me people not helpful okay what I will do though is put so down in this corner and up in this corner and then like what I did last time I will lay them out and so what I think is I'm doing the big ones and then I'm doing the little ones to fill in okay oh I also need to use the sizing of my card to make sure I'm not going over which I'm not really I could pick up that one and pop them in just a touch more just a touch more there we go and I'll do the same with the other one. So it's nice to use your card as a guide to make sure you're staying within the parameters. And that's much better. Much, much better. Okay, and now we're going to add, looks like two at the bottom and one at the top. Let's see if I can... Upside down, Miss Jane. Okay, adding one at the bottom. Jeez Louise. But everything wants to stick to the silicon mat, which is awesome. Until you want to actually turn something over. Okay, that's... Oh, okay. Just need to add a bit more adhesive just down here, which is easy to do. Then we just pick up that piece where I want it and done. And then I just want, well, they've put the extra piece, I just want to put this extra piece in a different spot because I've just want to have it more where the hellos are. Oh my dear word. Right. Sort of want to have it up here. Right. Done. I'm really happy with that. Now I'm going to do my heavy handed twine. 
this one says, oh it says 30 inches so it's even more heavy handed than last time which I have actually made it a lot more heavy handed and what did we, we used our our this now I'm going to now I'm going to have to loop that even looser Just try and get it even, but doing it looser. Okay. Hopefully this works. Hey Chris, hey Jen. Um, this is the seriously the best card kit, Julie. Oh, have I done it too wide? I think I've done it too wide now. Oops. As it goes on the floor I don't even know oh, it went directly under my chair and the back of it is now firmly covered in dog hair how's everything I am feeling so much better Linda thank you for asking so much better than what I was on Tuesday. I did manage to get through my whole shift at work on Wednesday, which was really, really good. I think my bosses were thankful that I was able to go in and do my job because I am the only one that does my job. Do you know what? It's still too loose. just going to make it a little looser than what I did before and see if that works a little looser than originally that's perfect okay so let's see if we can use our tear and tape to adhere this down and how are you, Linda? Are you well yourself? Although the kids aren't right at the moment. The kids are, Lachlan's still complaining that he's not 100%. And none of the kids did their activities last night, which was really weird because Thursday's normally my crazy evening where I run from pillar to post um, but I didn't last night it was, a, it was a tad weird to be at home but we hung out and it was all lovely and good so yeah it turned out really nice but just not how our nights or our Thursday nights generally go okay this here sort of want to do this here And then this bottom bit can just hang. I like that. Okay, so I've got an extra piece there that I'm not going to use, but that is perfectly fine. So let's load this back up with some dimensionals. It doesn't matter how messy the back looks as long as the card looks exactly how we want it to look so I am also going to load this up double because this dimensional only takes it to the level 
that it was at. I'll do another double one down here just so the bird doesn't sag on the side of the card. Of course, it doesn't want to come off. One and two. Hey Rhonda, long time no see. I hope you and Ron are well. And all the kids and grandkids. They're growing up to be nice and big. It's a bit scary, but then I look at my own kids and go, oh my god, how big are they? Just making the last of four cards here. Just made them uh, from a kit in the catalogue. This would also be a great class that you all make them together. I think my girls would enjoy that too. Going home with one, two, three. Yep. Okay. Oh pulled that off with my finger not helpful right now where is this end meant to be somewhere along there okay can just sit there Sorry, some of these popped up so they don't quite look as robust as what I wanted them to. Okay, just go for it. Okay, that's that one down. Then I can I can use my scissors and tease some of these bits out and around but that's pretty much how that will stay I'm happy with that um, and now I just need this only has two sequins so we're going to use our nice flower one at the top Nice flower one up here, but we've got the nice gold all spotted around in the background here, so we don't need a whole lot of sequins hanging around in that one there. So in nice diagonal line, that is my final card done. And I just, before I go anywhere, I just want to close this ink pad Thank you. See you on Sunday. That means you're coming. Hooray. I know you're going to try your best, die. Okay. So these four amazing cards came courtesy of the project kit, which is seriously the best. I have basically, all I've added in is adhesives and the Stamparatus. These are the two colours that we used, which was Pretty Peacock and Terracotta Tile. This is the Project Kit box. I just need a way to show these four cards. So they are all portrait cards. So these are the cards that I have made. This is your project box. We've used two colours to stamp with and we added in the Stamparatus.
yes they are great cards oh no problems karen thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed those cards i really enjoyed making them the instructions are really easy and just to remind you how cute these envelopes are this is one of the envelopes So I wasn't rushing, I was taking my time, uh, but that is what we made. My pleasure, Philomena. I hope to be back next week with you and we'll be making some cards I'm making in class this weekend. So I look forward to sharing uh, those with you. So have an amazing weekend. I hope it won't be raining like it's predicted to do here. So have an amazing one, guys. Bye.